course, welcome to the Unemployed Millionaire Show. Coming to you from Puerto Rico, staying at the Dorado Beach Club. Amazingly nice place if you ever get a chance to come here. Actually doing some meetings, going to head off and uh, do a training today. But um, had an analogy that I thought was a little bit fun. And it uh, just has to do with network marketing and how it relates to playing cards. And, um, you know, in an example of what we do in network marketing, we have to sort through a lot of people in order to find leaders, in order to find the ones who really see our opportunity and they go run with it and they build a business and be successful. Now, the challenge is there's a lot of cards in the deck. Now, there's only four aces. And uh, what a lot of people have a hard time doing is getting through all of the other cards in order to find the ace. And so, you know, the way that most people kind of work with their business or the way they act towards um, flipping cards, so to speak, is kind of like this, you know? It's like, all right, I'm gonna go out and start prospecting. I'm gonna show my first person the business. And so you flip it over and you go, three, what the hell? Oh my God, why? It's like all I ever get are threes. Now, obviously, <laughs> you're gonna have a little bit of a hard time if you're acting like that. And so, you know, the other t t times, you know, you flip over a card and it's a two, and you're like, <laughs> a two, oh my gosh, this is never gonna work. It's just never gonna work. You know, listen, there's more cards in the deck. You gotta keep flipping cards. Now, on the other hand, what happens, in some case, you show it to someone who actually enrolls. Now, they might not be an ace, but you flip over, and it's a jack, and you're like, whoo, I got one, I'm gonna go party, whoo! And you stop flipping cards. And you see, if you stop flipping cards, if you celebrate too early, then, you know, obviously, you're never gonna get to the ace. You know, the jack may be someone who joins, but they never really go out and do anything, and so, if I can just give you one of the things that I think has made me successful in network marketing over the years is having no emotional attachment to the cards. You know, a two is a two. You have to go through four twos in order to find the aces. You have to go through four threes. I mean, there's just all the cards are in there. You're going to have to go through all sorts of people. So if I can give you a better strategy, you flip through the card and you go, oh, a five. Oh, a six. Another six. Another nine, see, I've got no emotional attachment. Another two, another four, just keep flipping cards. An eight, a seven, a nine, see, and I'm cool with it, and then bam, there we go, there's an ace. Now, obviously, I had to go through a bunch of twos and fours and threes in order to find the ace here. And if you just keep flipping, eventually, you'll get all the aces in the deck. Now, usually they won't be stacked like this. You're gonna have to go through a lot more cards, but my friends, here's my advice for you. Go out and just flip the cards. Sort through, have no emotional attachment. When you enroll someone, don't go celebrate, don't go run off. You know, Enrolling someone doesn't really mean anything until they go off and enroll someone as well. You wanna find someone else and you know there might only be a few cards out there in the deck, you know, four aces, so to speak, who are gonna have the wherewithal to go and flip through their own deck of cards. And so you gotta flip through all the cards, my friends. So love to hear your comments below. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you uh, subscribe. Hop over to mattmorris.com, put your name and email address in, and as always, make life an adventure. Okay.